In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to enable the XMP profile in your BIOS or set the memory frequency to the frequency of the memory kit you just got for your new PC. So let's get started. So before we actually change our memory frequency, we want to double check on Task Manager that our memory speed right now is set to 2,133 megahertz. If we have that, that's what we want because that's usually the default. So we're going to go in here, Task Manager. We're going to go into Performance. We're going to go under our memory, which of course will be memory. And then you want to just check if it's 2,133. If it is, that's a good sign. Now, make sure when you set the memory frequency, it's the memory you bought. That means like the speed actually rated. So my speed is actually 3,600. So we make that 2,000. 3,133, 3,600. So what we need to do is following is we want to go into our power icons, we want to click reset. And while the computer is resetting, you want to make sure to just spam the delete button on your keyboard. When you're spamming the delete button, when it's resetting, it should take you into the BIOS. So we're just going to keep doing this for a little while until it takes us into the BIOS of our PC. Now if everything goes accordingly and I keep clicking the delete button, it should take me into the BIOS with no issues. Oh, there we go. We got it. Okay, awesome. Now that we're actually in our BIOS, we can actually not mess around. Now I am gonna go full screen for you guys so you guys can see what I'm actually doing in here. So give me a quick sec. So your BIOS most likely won't look like this since I have an MSI motherboard, it's an MSI motherboard BIOS layout. So what we're gonna do is make it easy for you guys so you guys know what it looks like right out of the gate. Sometimes it'll be set to an easy mode, which this is the easy mode, of course. So what we wanna do first of all is go into the advanced mode. That's the first thing you wanna enable. So just click the F7 or you can click advanced mode up here. And then with that, we can get on into it. Now you can enable XMP by clicking this button right here. I've had an issue why XMP where, where I enable it, it actually does a black screen and I can't use this profile, which is kind of unfortunate, but I'm not too worried about it. So I went to use my second option. So if it works for you, you enable XMP, that's great. If it doesn't work with you, you should be able to reset up your PC and then you can change it and turn it off. So. What we're going to do actually is we're going to actually enable the OC area and enable the memory frequency there because this is much more better and it's just like simpler. So instead of clicking that button, what we're going to do is go to DRAM, RAM, and never say that right, frequency. And when, instead of it being auto, which you can see it's 2133, we want to enable it to be the memory frequency of our memory. And remember, my memory is actually set to 3600. So we want to just kind of scroll down to a C 3600. And then we want to see it. So DDR4 3600, that's the max of our memory frequency. And then we just want to set that to be that. And of course, after we've gotten that, we want to make sure just to do the following, which is, you know, just close this. Simple as that. Now, once we close it and resets up our PC, everything should go well. And meaning that we should be able to open our task manager again and our memory frequency should be set right. Now, when this process does happen, just keep an eye out on your PC just in case something may go wrong. I highly do doubt anything would go wrong during this process. Because like I said earlier, my XMP, when I enabled it, it, it just didn't work. I don't know why that's the case. I had to reset the PC, click delete, and then re-enter task manager, just, or not task manager, the BIOS, just to turn it off. So I don't know why I did that for me. Might do that for you. So if you have that issue, that might fix it depending on the situation. So let's wait a second here and see if it works. So we seem to be good. So let's double check our now task manager just to make sure our frequency are all set so we're just going to log in of course and then what we're going to do the following is of course go into our task manager to double check it so what we want to do now is go back into our task manager from earlier make sure that memory frequency isn't 2133 megahertz it should be the memory speed which is rated for your memory mine is of course 3600 so we make sure the speed is at 3600 which it is 3600 which is absolutely awesome and we're all good to go on our pc it's all set up if you guys did enjoy this video or even found it helpful or interesting then make sure to smash the like button get subscribed so you not miss any of our awesome tech content and don't forget to check us on Twitch. We do stream there, of course, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They have a link down below to our Twitch channel. If you want to ask me anything about PC components down there, feel free to. I'll tell you guys for our tech video. Tech Grant, out.